Well, hello there, Transformer peeps, and welcome to this week's edition of Tr -tr 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 Transformer of the Week, where the Megatron march, the march of Megatron continues, ha ha ha, with this guy. This is Geo Megatron. He's uh, stylized in the G2 coloration of Megatron using the Hunt for Decepticons bludgeon body. Uh, yeah, so bludgeon is a tanky guy in the uh, Hunt for Decepticons line. Uh, it was very reminiscent of his of combination of his G1 Pretender shell and the inner robot that was inside it was a tank and Megatron was a tank in G2 and his one of his tank worlds got recolored into bludgeon so it's a big it's a nice um, round sort of like synergy with this um, of the, them all being tributes to each other at one form or another so yes here he is in tank mode um, it's got soft plastic on this turret here, so it means it's, it's bent out of shape properly. And there is a way that you can like heat this up with a hairdryer to try and fix that. I'm not the type of person to own a hairdryer. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get around to bending that back into shape at some point. So yeah, the turret turns, nice clickety ratchet thing here, and a little a smaller rifle on the top turns, unfortunately the turret doesn't go up and down uh, but yeah he's got some nice cluster missile launches there nice little gun, nice turret and some kind of gun, small gun at the back small tank penis gun or something yeah um, absolutely some amazing details uh, just really well, well some details, 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 some nice flashes of orange there got some little wheels to make the tracks roll not a lot of junk going on underneath. Uh, it's kind of a mixed combination between rubber and plastic for the tank treads. They don't actually roll, unfortunately. And what else has he got? He's got some purple, nice big black Decepticon symbol there. <laughs> He's the boss. So yeah, it's uh, all in all, it's a nice, really well compact tank mode. Uh, it's one of the pickups I got on assembly this year. Anyway, so we'll transform him. Uh, so bear in mind, yeah, this was mold was originally intended to be, originally was bludgeon. It wasn't even intended to be. It was bludgeon. So you can see that a lot of the stylings are meant more for a bludgeon than they do for a uh, Megatronus. But yeah, there's dogs are barking outside now. Okay, let's just move this around, unpeg this, a lot of flipping around. Anywho, yeah, so he's got nice legs that flip out, and he's got some nice little just twist and turn. It's a nice involving transformation. It doesn't, uh, not that many surprises, I don't think, but uh, it does kind of make sense. And I like how various bits just flip down, pull out, and does all in all make quite a striking figure. So this Down. Cross bits. Flips over. And then we have Megatron in his uh, robot mode. So this is this samurai warrior gelp. So that's obviously uh, you know a, a flip off from you know. Uh, from the bludgeon design, it's got a whole, whole new Megatron head sculpt. Uh, with mine, this leg bit here doesn't seem to want to actually peg in where it should, so it's kind of disappointing. It kind of kills the figure's vehicle. So when you flip, flip the you, you skirt bit down, it just flips that leg out of place, and it's, it's, it's actually really annoying. 
that's what it is. It's kind of like you've got a figure, and then just there's just that one thing that doesn't peg in right that actually just just bugs the shit out of you. But any, other than that, it's got you know really nice clicks, strong joints here, and if you got the new joint, yeah, it's got any, it's, sometimes you might the joints are quite strong, you don't even realize. Oh, you just pull it off. Look at that. But luckily. Nice bit of that, but so that's another thing that some of the joints, the actual because the joints are actually that strong, you actually end up pulling bits off rather than actually articulating them. So let's just get this to the right place so you can poke that in, and it goes, it fits back in perfectly. Um, well, so yeah, anyway. Aside from that really annoying bit, he's got a lot of range of movement and yeah, that head sculpt <laughs> is just he's got lips that would make Overlord <laughs> so jealous. But he's very look at me, I am very evil Megatron. <laughs> yeah, um he's got this huge backpack that is just the tank. It can this does club out to make an equally bendy sword, a samurai sword. It's again that's more bludgeon that I, it, it looks nice, but to me it's not it's not very mega strong. That he's actually been able to get his tank cannon and strap it to his arm, that would have been more mega strong, but the samurai sword's good, that's alright. And then the other gimmick he had again is more sword warrior related got this contrived gimmick and that is just absolutely great contrived gimmick and he's got a little uh, sheaf for a nodding just hidden away and that is just a very extravagant gimmick for a pop up knife and I do actually quite like I do actually like me Megatron wielding this more than I do his samurai sword because there's something just slightly a bit more menacing about Megatron just coming at you with a shiv, then coming at you with a samurai sword, and he's got, you know, he's got that articulation that you can actually just he can go, look at me, look at me, I am willing to just scrape my eye with my own knife, because I am going to shiv you up, I'm going to stab you, you can't, whoa, see Bob, <laughs> well anyway, I think of the Megatrons I own, this is Possibly weakest, mostly due to this uh, leg problem. I'll try and get it in there and try and fix, find out why that's not clicking his place, but I've not managed to actually solve it yet. Uh, as for you read the reuse of the bludgeon mold, it's kind of some of the samurai aesthetics aren't very Megatron. The bits that are like quite skeletal in his arms and stuff don't really bother me that much because you know this is a G2 Megatron and a G2 is, is very much like the comic books well known for like uh, characters getting their armor blasted off them and, and having very bits of like robotic skeletal stuff underneath so I think yeah, yeah it seems to be quite fitting for a G2 Megatron to have that slightly you know skeletal feel to it and like yeah I've, I've been battling the, the, the swarm or the, the G2 Decepticons, and I've you know, got bits of my, my robot skeleton ex exposed from doing that, so I think that is very good. And yeah, I just do like the shiv. But all in all, yeah, he's a great figure, it's just that leg problem just really ah, niggles me. It's a niggling problem. Because it's like, it's stopping a great, it's just stopping it become a great figure. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've got a bit of a those bunged up at the moment so I hope that's not been too bad for you but other than that like, comment, subscribe, leave all the stuff below and join me next time where we'll have it'll still be March and we'll have another Megatron <laughs> ta-ta for now